Welcome to my library, dear guest. My name is Cole, and I will be your storyteller. Lean back and relax as I read to you today's story, titled DM brings on-again, off-again lover into online campaign as DMPC, and it's been hell. By the author, Cold Hands Big Dick. This story will contain minor spoilers for Curse of Strahd, so you have been warned. With that out of the way, let's get on to the story. My spouse and I wanted to get into a campaign during COVID, because of social isolation and all. We found a Curse of Strahd campaign that seemed like a good fit. Everyone brought on was a stranger to the DM and to one another. Except me and my spouse, obviously. We go through content warnings and such before we start the game. We discuss how to navigate towing boundaries, crossing boundaries, etc. Everyone's pretty cool with most things. Eventually, a few players have family or personal issues and have to drop, which is completely understandable. And we're introduced to another player pretty quickly. They play a bard and they're an awesome fit for the party. Our party keeps kicking ass and taking names in Borovia and learn about Madame Eva for the Taroka reading. DM was really excited about this session and built up for over a week that a guest star was going to read our fortunes. Cute. Fun. Not weird at all. DM invited their best friend to play Madame Eva. Best friend did a great job. Then best friend asked if they could listen to the rest of the session. Still not weird. It's probably more fun to hear the party interact afterwards and react to your performance. I get that. DM asks right before the next session starts if best friend can tune in again this week. Getting a little weird, but whatever, no skin off my back. Suddenly DM realizes we don't have a cleric. And for some reason, we need a cleric. Not just a healer, because we have a bard, but a cleric. Next week, guess who shows up? Best friend, as our new cleric. We're promised that cleric is only going to be an NPC and effectively serve as a heal bot. Especially since best friend has already played through Curse of Strahd and the rest of the party hasn't. DM starts sending me private messages about how cleric used to be DM's sub. And not a sandwich. DM also tells me that cleric still comes over and plays while DM is running games. Look, no king shaming, but suddenly I start wondering how many times our party has been involved in something without our consent. I don't say anything though, because it's not my place to ask and maybe I don't want to know the answer. A few times, best friend is drunk on the discord and brags about being bratty and makes comments about DM that make a few of us uncomfortable. It's also of note that DM has mentioned a fiancé that isn't best friend slash cleric. Again, not my place. There is the absolute real possibility that it's all consensual between the three of them. So, best friend RP's cleric as incredibly rude, overbearing and mean. Which is fine, it's just going to cause friction. I've been RPing my barbarian courtier as focused on diplomacy and treating everyone with courtesy until they attack. Clearly, there will be some headbutting. Bard, rogue and sorcerer also seem to want to treat things diplomatically until a push comes to shove. Oh, but not cleric. Cleric is this close to a murder hobo. You know, because of morals and convictions. Right. Morning Lord loves that murder life. Not to mention, Cleric starts metagaming and steering the story. Cleric throws tantrums every time the rest of the party doesn't do what they want. By this time, it's made the game a toxic environment because Cleric threatens to just storm off into the woods every time we suggest a different path forward or waste our time with doing subplots. Subplots that everyone else in the party wants to do. Best Friend has been a bit of a problem player. Anyway, because of something barbarian said to Strahd, along the lines of is it true what Barovia says about you or do you have a side of the story you'd like us to hear? Strahd, read that DM, forces barbarian to choose who dies. 
bard, rogue, or sorcerer. Read that again. Bard, rogue, sorcerer. Cleric is absolutely not mentioned. I asked DM to clarify. Who exactly did Barbarian get to choose from? DM leaves out Cleric again. I say, choose me. Strahd keeps attacking my three compatriots. Cleric shouts at me to just choose. I think you're not on the menu. Sure, Strahd was probably going to kill one or possibly all if I didn't choose, but I was seriously hoping a self-sacrifice could have worked. Strahd decided to kill Rogue, my partner's character. So I RP some paranoia because jokes have been made that Barbarian is a conspiracy theorist. Cleric must be in cahoots with Strahd because he didn't even mention them as a choice. Suddenly, DM says that it was a mistake and Cleric was supposed to be an option. Since it was DM's mistake, I don't get to RP any of this. Okay, that's weird. If Strahd said Cleric, I would have chosen Cleric. You know, the DMPC, obviously. So are we going to switch out Rogue for Cleric? I get a message telling me to absolutely stop RPing the way I was, because I was hurting best friend's feelings. Best friend has anxiety and you're making it worse. I very politely suggested that DM shouldn't retcon the cause, but not the effect of a situation. DM tells me that I'm being a problem and I should just let it go. Oh, but DM does suggest that Strat could have just killed Barbarian instead. I also mentioned that we all discussed content warnings and triggers before playing, but Best Friend wasn't a part of that conversation. It's a little unfair to say that I'm the problem player for stepping over a boundary I didn't know existed. Finally, we come to an agreement. That meant absolutely nothing had changed, but I said Cleric. So Barbarian can't be paranoid and Cleric isn't dead. Totally a fair trade on that one, I say sarcastically. Fast forward to last week's session. Cleric tells Sorcerer to shut up and I say Barbarian doesn't put up with that shit. Best Friend stops me and tells me to quit our peeing like that. Best Friend thinks that I, as a player, am singling them out to harass them. And it's hurting them personally as a player. I can see why it seems like Barbarian is singling out Cleric. Barbarian doesn't treat other characters in the party like that because the other characters aren't so mean. Best Friend tells me that I, as a player, am taking away their ability to RP because I RP Barbarian reacting to Cleric being mean. It feels like the complaint is actually, I want to RP however I see fit and I don't want any consequences to it. DM immediately says best friend has a point. I have already spoken with DM about Curse of Strahd maybe not being a good game for best friend if anxiety makes it so hard to separate player from character. There have been other situations where Cleric has story driving plots and backstories and NPC relationships, but none of the PCs do. It feels like best friend saw us playing and demanded that DM insert them on our game. TLDR, DM inserted best friend slash lover into our game and is clearly getting special treatment. Update, after best friend ghosted the message I sent asking them how we can work things out, DM told us best friend decided to quit the game. Best friend went to everyone else in the party explaining how I'm the villain and never mentioned that I've asked how to move forward and RP with one another. Side note, I already told people the private message I sent, so they know best friend is full of shit. And that was today's story. I hope you enjoyed your stay and that I will see you again soon. For there are always more stories to be shared.